Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. I'm Jim Weber with your Tropical Update. Looking at the names we've used so far this year, just over half of the names used, and it's quite likely here in short order, we're going to be using another two names off of this list. First up here is Tropical Depression number 13. Uh, this is out into the Atlantic winds, currently at 35 miles an hour, 16 degrees north, 52 degrees west. Uh, it's moving to the west-northwest at 21 miles an hour. Now, it's going to be moving through an area where conditions are favorable, that we're going to see more development over the next few days. And, and you're looking at this track, and you're seeing it heading towards Florida. At this point, remember, nothing set in stone. We're going to see this track shift one way and the other. And there, there's really a lot of discrepancy as far as the intensity forecast. And a lot of that has to do with what kind of land interactions this may or may not have over the coming days. If this moves a little bit further to the south, it could end up having a lot more interaction with the land. There's some dry air to the north of this. Uh, does it pull some of that in? So the structure of the storm will help to determine exactly how strong this gets. So the takeaway at this point is you just have to keep in the back of your mind that we, we're going to have a tropical system working its way towards the west. It could be very close, uh, if not affecting parts of Florida as we get into the first part of next week. And there's that possibility, certainly, that this could be a tropical storm or a hurricane moving over the state as we get into next week. So you look at the computer models, and there's pretty good agreement among these various computer models as far as that track. Now, remember, there's two parts of this. We're talking about the forecast track. We're talking about the intensity. So we have fairly good consensus in that forecast track. We do not have good consensus on that intensity, which is a very common thing. But at this point, we're seeing probably a, a wider range in those intensity forecasts because uh, if it goes a little bit further to the south, you're going to get more interaction with land. So there's a lot that still has to be answered with this system over the next several days. Now, truck compression number 14 has formed, uh, still a fairly disorganized system. This will be working its way across the Western Caribbean, eventually over the Yucatan, and then it looks like moving into the Western Gulf of Mexico. So at this point, it's almost a race to see which one of these systems becomes Laura and which one becomes Marco over the next several days. You're seeing a bigger spread in those models showing exactly where this one might end up going. So still a lot of questions with this. We're also watching some other systems that'll be working their way off the coast of Africa, and we'll keep you updated right here on MyFoxHurricane.com.